Welcome students. In this video, we are trying to install SQL Express and in the next video, we will try to work with the SQL Server Management Studio. So what is the SQL Express? Everybody knows SQL Express is a compact backend provided by the Microsoft. It is a mini version of the SQL Server as such. So it is a free version. So let us try to understand from where to download and how to install. So I am going for SQL Express. We will go for latest version only. So we will go to the Microsoft SQL Server 2019 Express. Okay, we will not be interested in working with what is SQL Server. We will be interested in working with the SQL Express. So English download, fine. So I just plan to go for downloading this SQL Express. And now I am starting the installation process. So it's quite easy to go for installing. So in the first part, it will ask you what you want, a basic one, a custom or a download media. Now for the basic student version, the basic is more than sufficient. Give a click on the basic over here. Read the license terms of Microsoft and then go for accepting it. Decide the folder in which you would like to install this SQL Express. Give a click on next. This will be downloaded in the installation package and complete the installation of SQL Express 2019. It's quite easier process. It will hardly take some around 5 to 10 minutes depending on the internet speed and the machine speed. In the next step, after downloading and installing, it is showing you the connection string for the SQL Express. Installation log folder, installation media folder, installation resource folder. And it is asking you, would you like to install the SQL Server Management Studio? Now this SQL Server Management Studio is basically helping you to connect with the SQL Server and do the various data definition language operations and data manipulation language operation. Now I am interested to definitely install the SQL Server Management Studio. So I just give a click on install SSMS. First it will be asking you if you want to install you need to download it. So here I am planning to go for downloading my SQL Server Management Studio. Once the download has been completed, now you require to run this SQL Server Management Studios setup. So I just open this file. Now this will be starting the installation of SQL Server Management Studio. Let's see the few steps how to go with the installation of SQL Server Management Studio. So fine, I just open the folder in which the Management Studio has been downloaded and double click on it and start the setup for Management Studio. Selecting yes over there. It is asking twice. I just I don't want to do it. Once I had already started. It asked me where you would like to install this management studio. I just say in the default location it should get installed. So I give a click on install. It will take another 5 minutes for you to complete the installation of the management studio. So now you can see overall progress has been completed. And uh, uh, we are in the closing part of the installation of SQL Server Management Studio. Once we complete the installation, we need to check how to run this management studio and how to check in a service whether our SQL Express is running or not. So let's try to focus on those things. So till the time the installation is going on, let's will try to go with the services and let's check whether we are able to see the SQL Express service or not. So it's quite easy to go to the services. You can just type services. So go to the services over here after giving a click on the start type services and inside the services you will find one service that is called as SQL Express right SQL server and the name it is going to be SQL Express and the service is what running it means our SQL Express service is what running properly and now with the help of the SQL server management studio we need to connect to the SQL Express service. And further, we need to go for checking how we can create the tables and add the data into it and retrieve the data from it. So let's try to focus on this. So first I will start the SQL Server Management Studio. So you can give a click on a start. You will see the recently added one that is Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. For the starting, I will prefer that you give a right click, select the option called as Run as Administrator. Because SQL Server can be connected using two different modes. 
one is sql servers uh, integrated security second is our operating system security right now whatever the default option is there we need to access it so that we are working with the administrative mode for the sql server management studio so fine we are starting the sql server management studio let's see this is the environment of the management studio and it shows me my server name is my machine name backslash sql express many a times you will find the persons are entering over here dot and sql express and the authentication mode which is by default selected as windows authentication and we need to connect with the same that's the reason we are starting our management studio as an administrator and now we are given to click on connect if your servers are running properly express is running properly you will find that you are connected with this sql express and where it is showing you the various databases which are present now currently no databases are present this is a object explorer if you by mistake close it don't worry you can go to the view and you can again select the option called as object explorer now i need to create one database over here so i give a right click over here selected the option new database and here i am providing the name of the database maybe i am giving the name of database as test two files are created one is a test.mdb and second is called as test.log right and uh, these are the location of your files where these files are kept if you are interested in changing the location of the file you are allowed to change the location of file but right now i would like to keep as it is and then i will even click on okay it shows me a uh, create field for a database test and exception occur execute and transact sql statement or a batch and shows me something that test.mdf is already exists that means in that particular folder test.mdf is already exists so i just say test video and i give a click on add and you will find a database is what been successfully created over here now i would like to create tables into it it is quite easy you can give a right click on the tables and select the option new here select the option called as table it asks you the name of the table and the column name etc i am providing the column name maybe i am providing employee id integer employee name where cap employee salary integer i can set this as the primary key uh, there are many constraints which can be applied by you like check constraint unique constraint i will be creating a separate video for it right now it's just just checking whether everything is working fine or not so when i am trying to save this table it asks me a table name i had given a table name as employee and you will find that the database called as test video has been created and a table has been created oh sir no i cannot see the table over here refresh it here you can easily see the table called as employee you can give a right click you are allowed to go for selecting the uh, top 200 rows and goes on adding the records over here like employee id man employee name my name okay i will not disclose my salary and some some salary and so on right so this is the simple way by which you can check whether you are able to create databases able to create your tables in our upcoming videos we will see how to implement constraints like primary key foreign key check unique not null for our columns at the same time i would like to show you in a separate video about taking the backup and restoring the backup of the database which is created by you in sql express that's it for today so please install the sql express properly install the sql server management studio also properly thanks a lot